Hi there, and today I'm opening up what I think is probably the best promo of 2024 so far. Now in January 23, when the brown uh, collectible minifigure came out and he came with a blue space baby, I thought this was going to be a one-off thing that LEGO did. But it seems that they're going to continue the trend and give us a few more of them. And that's what they've done with this new gift with purchase. It's set uh, 40712 and it's called Micro Rocket Launchpad. And they've given us a second blue space baby. However, this time um, they're not treating them as babies. They're treating them as just sort of micro spacemen. So they've given them a classic smiley face. So we've got another blue one as we have had before in the collectible minifigure series and then if you look further down on the box we've also got a white one so we're going to open it up and have a look at it So inside we've got four bags. Bag one builds the uh, small flyer and the rocket launch tower. Bag two builds the small command station for the rockets. And bags three and four build the micro eight-wheeled vehicle. We obviously know that the space babies are printed. However, there is a small sticker sheet. There's three uh, classic space logos and two control panels. Now all the elements of the set are micro versions of classic space sets. So first of all, the little base station and the rocket tower are micro adaptations of set 920, which was rocket launch pad from 9 1979. Now there were lots of miniature flyers in the classic space theme but generally they were either white or just grey and obviously this has a lot of blue on it so I really think that with these three little uh, jet engine nozzles on each side maybe it's giving a little bit of a tribute to set 928 which was the Galaxy Explorer set from 1979. And then finally we've got this eight-wheeled vehicle which is clearly a micro version of set 6950 which was mobile rocket transport and that was from 1982. So first I'm going to build all these micro builds and then obviously with our new space babies we're going to turn every spaceman is awesome into every space baby is awesome. <laughs>
Now they were all really good fun to build. I don't think I've ever had a set with so many small pieces before, but I guess that's the way things go when you're building it in micro scale. Also with such a small set, I don't think I've ever had so many spare pieces before. But again, I guess that's just because of the number of small pieces in the set. So we're gonna have a quick look at each one and then obviously make every space baby is awesome. So first of all, based on set 920 rocket launch pad from 1979. So obviously we have the rocket launch pad itself. And this had one sticker on the rocket down here. And the rocket detaches very easily. It just sits on that one stud base here. Um, I like the color scheme here, classic blue and uh, gray, obviously. And they've thrown in a bit of uh, regular yellow for good measure. I like the way they've done these uh, four pipes at the bottom, effectively uh, maybe fueling the rocket, and also a uh, throwback to the original set using exactly the same piece on the gantry. The rocket's quite different from the original. The original was uh, two by two all the way down, and then uh, they've obviously got this cone piece at the bottom with these four little mini engines underneath. But for me, the base station is the better of the two models, I think. It's a great tribute to classic space. It uses the exact same colour scheme, the blue, the grey, and of course that wonderful transparent yellow, looking exactly like a modern remake of a classic space set should look. We've got two jumper plates inside where two of the miniature spacemen can sit and there's a slanted control panel there and also there's two control screens hanging down from the ceiling and they're on a double cheese wedge plates so they're slightly angled down as well. The logo on the outside and these two grill pieces is one long sticker. The two pieces up there are also stickers however this control panel is a printed piece. Moving on to the miniature flyer. Uh, this really was reminiscent for me back in the 80s building sort of mini classic space flyers. All the vehicles back then used to have steering wheels wheels for the spacemen and obviously that would be far too big for one of the miniature space babies um, so they've got this modified tile upside down in a jumper plate and just like the galaxy explorer had those massive rocket engines underneath they've got scaled down versions using these two by two dishes uh, sitting underneath and then moving on to the remake of 6950 Mobile Rocket Transport from 1982. Now this is really good version. Um, I love the way they've done these articulated wheels. They can all move independently. Um, it really does look like that original set. They've got so many um, elements from the original set recreated in such a small scale. The only thing I did find odd is that the original set had four steering wheels uh, positioned at the back here and they've used exactly the same piece. So obviously they're much, much bigger scale um, in the original set and these are giant steering wheels for the uh, space babies but uh, still a good uh, nice uh, sort of throwback to the original set now the one thing obviously missing from a mobile rocket transport is the rocket but fortunately the rocket from the launch pad clips in here and it can sit on top just like the original set had and then the launch system obviously can be rotated up ready for launch. And although the rocket transport isn't my favourite part of the set, you do have to give credit to the set designer on this one for these articulated wheels. As you see, this is obviously a very uneven surface. And you can easily roll the whole vehicle over the top and the wheels just compensate depending on how big the bump that it's driving over is. And so that is our set. But of course, the highlight of the set and the reason that most people will be trying to get their hands on it is of course the miniature spacemen. And here we have all three together for comparison. Obviously, we had the original Space Baby from the uh, collectible minifigure series and him and the blue new miniature spaceman obviously have exactly the same uh, torso well they're the same pieces completely obviously just the uh, printing on the face is different so we've got more of a baby face on this one and more of a miniature classic spaceman on this one and then similar for comparison we've got a close-up here of our white and our blue spacemen we now of course also know that we are going to get a pink space baby in may with the next collectible minifigure series and that's going to be like the original one with the baby face on it and the figure's title space nurse with pink space baby so here we have my original every spaceman is awesome and if you'd like to see the video of this being made i'll put a link up the top and down in the comments below but on that video i did get an awful lot of comments saying that the blue space baby did need to be added to the blue stripe just in front of the blue spaceman but now we've got two space baby colors and soon to be three it's only fitting that they get their own display so we've got 20 very common pieces there's nothing special here at all and we're going to first of all build up using some two by two bricks so we've got three white two by twos. I'm using a white base, that's, that's what the original set had, so I thought I'd stick to the original colors. And there's some on the other side, two and three two by two blue bricks. And then the original set had that curve on top. I'm using these uh, one by two curved bricks to go on there like that. Got one on each side. The original used larger curves, um, but we don't have the width to fit in the pieces that are required to go underneath those. So we're going with these instead. And then build up behind them, with some one by two plates, and then obviously smooth it off with a tile on top, and then the same on the white side. One by two, another one by two plate, and then a tile. And then on the original set, we had those uh, tiled off 
panels as well. So this side we're going to use a 2x2 jumper with a tile behind and then staggered like the original set, a blue 2x2 jumper with a tile in front. And then finally we can have every space baby is awesome. And there's our miniature version with our two miniature spacemen. Now at some point I am going to decide which of the blue uh, miniature spacemen I'm going to have to use. Obviously the white one only comes with the classic smiley face and when the pink one comes along he's going to come with a baby face or she's going to come with a baby face. Um, so we are going to have to mix and match at some point. So that's what it looks like at the moment with one baby and one classic smiley. I think until the baby arrives, pink baby arrives, we'll stick with this like it is and we'll put it next to our original now just putting it in front of the original set uh the blocks behind were blocking off some of the spacemen behind so i have taken one of the two by twos out each and i'm not quite sure if i prefer that the original set the columns were very tall behind the spacemen and um, this is scaled down somewhat so maybe shorter columns would be better the other option i've got is using a different kind of slope piece and making these uh stripes only one brick wide obviously the original spaceman had two feet and had two studs wide. Um, these guys only sit on one stud, so maybe I could make this tw half the width and make it just one stud wide. But let me know what you think about that idea in the comments below. So obviously I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video to this in May when the pink space baby comes along, and then I'll have to start deciding uh, which of the blue figures goes on this display. And also if I'm gonna keep it at two bricks wide or narrow it down to one brick wide. Let me know which face you prefer in the comments below. Is it the original space baby or do you like the classic smiley face? Also let me know what you think of the micro space set in general and let me know if you're going to get it yourself if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and of course please subscribe for more lego videos